Hey everybody, my name is Christian Cummings. Uh, I am uh, coming to you from Signature Sound Studios here in San Diego. Signature's been here for 30 years, since 1989. Signature itself has a long storied history. Certainly a lot of platinum plaques out there on the wall and uh, records you've heard have been made here. So this is the perfect place to do this exercise. The reason I decided to do this is because uh, younger recording engineers they have less opportunity to work in an all analog environment. If you know how to do that, if you've been through that experience, uh, or you have a little bit of experience with that at least, um, it sort of helps inform your process for mixing in the box. When you're working on a console like the console in the A room, which is a uh, large format, it's a 1608, it's an API 1608, it's a 32 channel version of the 1608. You're limited to whatever that console can do. That particular console has no automation. Um, it has amazing EQs. It's, it's loaded with the, the five, uh, five, 550Bs and the 560s by API. There's a couple of 550As in there too. But you're limited by what those EQs can do. They sound amazing, of course, but they're, they're 2 dB steps, right? So like you can't really get too granular with the EQ on the console. There's no automation there. There is some outboard compression. There's no compression on the console, by the way, at all on the channels. Like, say on a large format SSL, you'd have a compressor on each channel. Not so with the API. We do have some outboard gear, so we'll be using that. And probably most importantly, we're going to be mixing it down to the tape machine in the other room, which imparts a huge sonic signature on the final mix. So we're limited to that set of tools. In the box, you don't have those limitations. That is a great thing. Um, but it can also be a problem because Oftentimes you just keep remixing and remixing and remixing and remixing and working on it for hours and hours and hours and making changes and changes and changes. And you can iron that thing down until there's absolutely no problems left with it at all. And it's boring. It's not musical. It's not exciting. It's not emotional. Um, that's the whole point in the first place, right? That the song conveys emotion to you. So I think if you spend a little bit of time working in an all analog environment and have a little bit of experience doing that you then take that experience and and it, it, it really informs your process working in digital in the box so here's my solution my solution is to take you through the process in sort of a basic form so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a session prep in here today i'm going to do a mix in there tomorrow and i'm going to take you through that process and you will hear how the limitations of the tools that we have here available to us uh, inform the final mix, the sonic signature of the final mix. And then hopefully, by going through that with me, you will start asking yourself some new questions about your process, maybe get some new information from my process, and it will improve your abilities in the box. I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be a lot of fun. Chapter 2 is coming up next. It's going to be me on the Pro Tools uh, rig in here getting everything ready for tomorrow. Okay, thanks a lot.